Golden Joe Bolivian, and this is Crusader Kings 2. And we are back. I totally botched that intro. Apologies for that. But we're back with Lord Joseph the Tenacious of the Golden Tooth of House Red Claw Custom Lannister Rain House. And last episode, I don't really remember what we did. I think I'm pretty sure we married the older sister of our ex-wife. Uh, what was her name? What was her name? Celia Tully. Yes, she cheated. She decided that she was going to cheat on the Lord of the Golden Tooth. And apparently she didn't believe in the stories about how ten tenacious Lord Joseph is. But she learned the hard way. She now languishes in our dungeons for the past two years. The child born of adultery was born a stillborn. And now she languishes away, and we decided to... And while that was all happening, we uh, successfully murdered her uncle, I think? Someone. Her uncle who was married to her older sister, Lady Minissa, who is now our, our, who is now our new wife. So we've essentially, we, we upgraded on the, uh, the, the, in the, in the line of Tully's as far as, um, the inheritance of Riverrun goes. Um, but it seems that all of our endeavors may be for naught. Um, and it appears Lord Edmund Tully would rather have Riverrun fall into the hands of someone who is not a Tully whatsoever, as long as it doesn't fall into the hands of a cadet branch of House Lannister. Because we can see right now it's going to, it's going to fall into the hands of the crown after Lord Edmund, um, inevitably, inevitably perishes, which, unfortunate, I really wanted River Run, but what can you do? Not like we can change the laws in River Run to benefit us, because we're in a totally different realm. But while we were doing that, we also had a faction started to put ourselves on the, uh, well, on the throne of the rock, since we are a claimant for, uh, for that title. Um, we don't have much support, though. We have almost enough men to... We, have, we almost have enough men to have half of the armies available to the current king, King Jamie, the boy, the boy on the throne in the rock. So to, um, to remedy this issue, we've started a plot to kidnap the king, kidnap the king, which if we can do that correctly, if we can get him in our dungeons, then we can demand the installation of ourselves as the new king of the rock. And, um, well, when he inevitably goes to the war, as the AI always does, we'll have a 100% war score from the very onset of the war because he's in our dungeons and we can just force him to surrender and then we'll become the new Kings of the Rock. House Redclaw will have, uh, so we'll have, um, circumvented House Lannister and House Rain to become the new Lords of the Rock. I'll also, we need to remember that we have Gareth Redclaw as our heir. He is six years old, so he's getting close to the point where we might have to consider who he's going to marry in the future. However, we may want to put off on that a little bit. We don't have many episodes left for this little mini-series, but we may want to put off for that a little bit just so that we know if whether or not we're actually going to be Kings of the Rock. Because we're, if we're actually going to be Kings of the Rock, then who he marries really, really matters as far as future alliances go and things like that. We've also had a new son, Tywell Redclaw, who was born under auspicious signs, which if you have the pregnancy flavor options on in the game rules for any of your any of your games for Crusader Kings 2, I highly suggest enabling that. If you get the Auspicious Signs event, then you don't get cursed with the event that essentially increases the chances of your children getting congenital negative defects. So, and, and also, he was able to get the strong traits. So I'm not sure. Maybe being born under Auspicious Stars means that you're less likely to have negative traits and more likely to have positive traits. I don't know. Um, but he did get the strong trait, which is fantastic, especially for a Red Claw. But all that aside, we need to get the timer going. Oh, shit. Ariana, there's someone conspiring. Wait a minute. Can we discourage from associating with conspiratorial factions? No one is conspiring against us at the moment, at least that we know about. But we're going to have her continue doing her job because she can coerce other lords into joining our joining our um, our faction here. My prisoner Celia Tully is complaining about her dark cells. She should be grateful that she hasn't been executed. I don't even think we can execute her. Oh, no, we can. We can, and we're not going to because that would really upset our children. Our children would absolutely hate us for that. Catelyn Tully, you are married to Lucas Blackwood. Ah, okay. And we're now in Silverhill carousing, having a good time. Having a good time of it. Lord Robert has brought out some... That's nice. Great. I'll get you next time. Just playing some games. 110%. And we were trying to get Muriel to support our cause as well, but she will not. She likes King Jamie too much. The reveling and crossing is over. What is our justiciary doing right now? You are you are improving relations in Kostomir. Um, We may want you to be fabricating claims. Do we have anyone who's better than uh, Sir Norwin as a justiciary? Because if we do... If, if someone else is available... No, nope. Seems he's the best. If we had you fabricate, no, not fabricate claims. So dissent. 
there is a 44% chance that it's going to lower opinions between vassals and lieges. Um, but there's a 3% chance that he'll get discovered. And if he gets discovered, then that will give um, King Jamie righteous cause to imprison us, which would be the end of House Red Claws. We know it. Although I think in episode two, we almost, we technically should have been destroyed because King Lauren went all mad king on us and demanded our heads and titles. But I mean, we're not gonna get, we're not gonna get anywhere by playing it safe. We gotta play it risky. Muriel's position on the Regency Council is under question. Your acquaintance, Lord Ossifer Marbrand, is trying to have her removed and is asking for your support. Is he our friend? He is not, and he is and he is a lunatic. Yes, she must be removed. We are Hand of the King, and so we can't become Master of Whispers, but we are Hand of the King. Damn it. Damn it, we were also trying to get Regents. Yeah, we were also trying to become Regent, weren't we? Plot to rescue, plot to incite revolt, plot to fabricate evidence. Uh, yeah, so we have no options for becoming a Regent now. Let's kill King Jamie of the Rock. That doesn't, that doesn't aid me in my endeavors, though. Stop backing plot. We can use a favor to get him to... Ah, oh, we also, I forgot, we have a favor with Rickard, um, with, with, uh, Lord Rickard of Costamere. But he's not gonna last much longer, though. He's four, he's almost 50, he's got chest pains and stuff. So, would it be worthwhile calling him into our faction right now? We've also lost the support we already had, so that's really annoying. Hmm. Problem is, is I'm not going to remember who I have favors with. Call vote to fire counselor, improve relations, ask to join factions. Let's just spend it right now, because I'm going to forget otherwise. Um, let's vote to have Muriel removed. Maybe we can have somebody. The Regency Council has convened and has taken a vote on the matter um, of Muriel's continued membership. The council voted to keep Muriel. I just realized now that she has a really, really shit intrigue for the Master Whispers. All right, well, they voted to keep her. Um, Rickard, have you joined our faction? He has. Okay. For some time now, I've been the employee of Lord Girion. All right. Let's see. Opinion of the Liege. The opinion of us is much higher. Is much higher. All right. So we have ourselves. We have we have the Reigns on our side. If we can get Kraycall on our side, that'd be great, too. He's married to a Reign. Invite to plot. No. Political concerns. Fabricate treason. Lift excommunication. We could get, we could get Lord Sumner the Second Craycall, his excommunication lifted, which would make him really, really like us. Who are we trying to sway at the moment? I don't know. Let's try to sway the Craycalls, and let's lift his excommunication. All right, then that, that that should make him like us a lot. We have an opportunity to abduct the king. Uh, what kind of chance do we have? 100%? 26% chance, that's a quarter... So, there's like 75% chance we'll fail. No, it's it's too risky. It's too risky right now. To the heroic Lord Joseph, blessings upon you and your house. I will gladly lift the excommunication of Lord Sumner and allow him back into the church. Good. Now, what do we get for that? Lifted excommunication plus 15. Hmm, I was kind of hoping for a little bit more. No, it's it's too risky. It's too risky. He's, he's King Jamie's too well protected. Potential plotters. Yeah, I mean, getting these two people on my team would be the best. But they're not going to join us though, because they all really like King Jamie. Why do they like King Jamie so much? Well, he's not an awful teacher. He's not an awful king, though. Hmm. Lorian, our half brother. Shit. This isn't working as I had planned. If we could just become the regent, though. If we could just become the regent, but we can't plot for it anymore, which is really shit. Now, if I quit this ambition, what will happen? I can reselect it. Obtain a greater throne. Obtain a high... Up, become a higher lord. Okay. If I click this again, will it refresh my option to plot to become regent? No. It doesn't seem to want to allow me to plot to become regent again. That's really annoying. Um, apparently, someone is trying to uncover my plot. Have him killed immediately. All right, it didn't work. Okay, that's great. Didn't work. Um, 112%. That's nice. Has declared... Okay. No text for key CB. So, um, okay, that's a bug. That's a bug. He's declared some kind of war. Westerlander war for Lord Sumner's claim on Red Lake. 
Oh, great. Um, and now the crown is marching off to attack the Reach. I think by the goading of Lord Sumner. Well, apparently the Reach is really, really weak. Wow, okay. I will support the throne. I will not concern myself for now. I really don't want to send my men off to do that. And we've been removed from the, our position as Hand of the King. And we probably have also lost our, our plot. Murmur was heard throughout the room when I judged I fell into death. All right. A famous writer proposes to compose your family's chronicles, give him um, give him patronage, go... Actually, that's kind of expensive. So let's get out of here. We, we're still plotting to kidnap the king, apparently. All right, let's cancel that, too. Um, is there anything else I can do? Nope. No, and especially because we're, we're kind of considered independent at the moment. God damn it. I just didn't want to have my... Also, yeah, I lose my plot for becoming the regent. Let's keep this open for us. Because who knows how long this war is going to actually last. Tywell Redclaw, I want to be your guardian. Let me be your guardian. Apparently we can't. Um, we've got Gareth and we have Eldrick Betley. Let's have someone else be your guardian. And let's make it someone who's terrible. So let's find someone with like the, uh, the, mo like the worst traits possible. And have him be the guardian. Alright, we got Cruel, we got Wrathful. Um, honest, cynical. No, I kind of want somebody who's even worse than that. Someone who's just dreadfully terrible. Craven would be a good trait. Content would be even better. He's got he's got content right here. How many people do we have that are content? Because Eldrick Betley stands a good chance of being the next uh, the next heir, or one of our vassals. Um, let's see, lustful, zealous, content. He has cancer. He's stubborn. Osbert, he'll be your new Septon. Um, with my use of, with the use of my extensive knowledge, I'm confident I will be able to sway Lord Sumner into becoming my trusted friend. I will gift him an invaluable book. Yeah, but is this learning high enough for that? I don't know. This option is available to your high, due to your high learning. Send one of the most priced literary works in your position, Lord Sumner, hoping your gesture will sway him to your cause. Fine. We'll spend ten gold, I guess. All right, then they've. All right, then the guardianship has been accepted. Now I will be the guardian of my second son, Tywell. It was not easy separating myself from such a precious book, but my gesture was not in vain. Lord Sumner was quite impressed with my thoughtful gift. Good. What we need to do is get him to give, uh, uh, get him to, um, oh, it also destroys our faction. Great. So apparently by remaining neutral in wars, you can, you can destroy your plots and your faction. So that, okay, that was a major step backwards on my part. Unfortunate. Hmm. That wasn't good. Form alliance, plot, plot to investigate legitimacy. No, he's untouchable at this moment. We can declare war on him though. Claim the Rock. Yeah, but we would have no allies in that. I, we wouldn't have any allies in that. That's unfortunate. Don't care about that. Thank you. Now, is there anything else we can we can really do to impress to increase our potential? I don't see any. What kind of laws can we pass? All right. I, I like I like the inheritance laws as they are. We could make um, them pay us more in taxes. Hmm. Yeah, but I'd also like men more more soldiers as well. Use your study. I think we've used our study for everything. Receptin has done a great job. Yep, thank you. River Run. Mm, can we plot to kill you? Mm. This pregnancy has made my wife, Minisa, much more talkative and cheerful than usual. She never misses the chance to chat with anybody with an earshot. Unfortunately, most scholars agree that a pregnant woman should spend as much time as possible resting in a dark room to avoid giving birth to a sickly child. This is true. And normally, I would agree. However, recently I have found that... Having them stay in a room that's dark has the off chance of making your wife go a little crazy. So I will let her have her fun. Because I do not want her to become cynical or become a lunatic. Ooh, yes, excellent. More gold. More gold is always better. Now then, um, Catelyn, sister-in-law, where are you? You're at court in the Raven Tree. All right, can we invite your husband? No, no. Being always so distracted might have prevented my wife from taking a good rest, but all this talking with my vassals and servants has had the unforeseen advantage of strengthening her relation with many of the people in court. How fortuitous, indeed. Oh, wow. Manisa, you are, you have aged very, very poorly. <laughs> That's not good. Is good tradition to have some gossips around? Uh, sure. Sure. Maester Melwin approaches you and presents to you a request to buy a small plot of land. I do need the gold. No. No, 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 no. All right, Gareth is gained two learning. Fantastic. Can I train him? Force him to train. No, I think he has to be eight years old for that. Have we taken him as a squire yet? No, I guess he must also. Yeah, he has to be. He has to be eight. Okay, he has to be eight. Uh, the ninth moon. Okay, so later this year. Sir Stefan Sunderland has been a Leela able servant as our treasurer. Agree to reward him. Yeah, fine. 
I suppose. Lord Sumner II of Krakal has declared Lord Sumner II's retaliation. So why is this happening? Why is Lord Sumner able to do all this stuff? Swear fealty. We could. Asking for his protection. Mm, declare for the king. Officially join King Jamie's side in the war. He'll like us for that. We'll join King Jamie the Rock in his offensive wars. Uh, I don't know if I want that. So I suppose we could voluntarily join. Could voluntarily join the Rock. We could swear fealty. To, we, we can make King Dennis. We could join King Dennis. Hmm. Would he actually accept us? We could swear fealty to him. And then the, then we would join the Trident. Now, what would we get? What would we get if we were to do that? Well, I think... I think, I think, I think... It would strengthen our claim on River Run. And the reason I think that is is because... Right now... River Run is going to go to Dennis, the king... But I think that if Lord Edmund were to die and we were a part of his realm, he'd be willing to give it to us as well. Or he might just keep it for himself. But if we do join the Trident, we won't be able to scheme on our own accord to take the Rock. Essentially, we would have to ask Edmund to go to war on our behalf to give us the Rock, which... He's probably not likely to do, because it really doesn't benefit him in any regard, because it's not like we would get the rock and they'd be his vassal. We would become our own ind independent king. I don't really see that being worthwhile. My quarter, Danell has gotten married. All right, she'll, she'll be disinherited. That's fine. Hmm. Perhaps it would be better to swear fealty to King Jamie and then just plot to take over the rock again. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. This whole being independent thing has not really given me many options. Dear Uncle, I accept you as my vassal. Great, we're now part of the realm again. Uh, that's nice. Super. Now, can I plot... Can I plot to become the regent again? Is, was that enough to reset that for me? No, it wasn't. Apparently, once you attempt to become the regent and you fail, you will never be allowed... Well, hold on a second. I need to pick it first, don't I? No, 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 no. No, no, no. Not Hand of the King. Not Hand of the King. Regent. All right, let's try it this time. This is becoming... This is becoming, um... Oh, come on! Plot to rescue people. Plot to incite revolt. Plot to fabricate... Yeah, see, we're not allowed to plot to become the regent anymore. Which is, I think, really stupid. Fail an opportunity one time. And you never get the opportunity to become regent again. Which is really annoying. Alright. Let's start a faction to put ourselves here again. Overthrow the monarchy. But why would we want to do that? Your spymaster, Ariana, has come seeking a word. My lord, she begins, I understand you harbor an ambition to focus business. So that's a bug. We've got different, different text strings that are overriding each other. So she's essentially saying she knows you want to become regent. So we advise that it may be prudent to start a plot against Maester Garland. Okay. Ariana, you are a real lifesaver. However, I'm not allowed to plot against him. So you're essentially telling me to plot against someone that I can't plot against. That's really, really annoying. That is so annoying. Why can't I fabricate this? It's not a liege of... Okay, yeah, so essentially... So I think it's another bug. It's another bug. We've lost the chance to become regent... Because of bugs. Really annoying. That's really, really frustrating. I am really tempted to just scheme to murder our <laughs> to murder our nephew now. Alright, fuck it. Lord Joseph for the rock. Let's do it. Let's do it. And I lost the I lost the favor for this guy too. Great. Thanks. Thanks, game. Really doing me a solid this time around. Anyways, we've got a new daughter, Elena Redclaw. She was born fine. That's great. Um, question is, what do we want her to study? I think we've been making them all do martial stuff. Elena, go ahead and you'll do struggle as well. Leona Redclaw. Um, let's see. She'd be good and bad as a steward. All right. Do that. Do that. Lord Sumner is rotting in a dungeon. I doubt I can do much to improve his opinion of me now. Yet, yeah, who's he imprisoned by? Iron King Burton of the Iron Isles. Okay. 
He might be freed soon. We will stop swaying him. Yeah, it doesn't really seem to be doing us any any favors there. Plot to kidnap. Plot to kill. Plot to investigate legitimacy. Nope, we can't do anything. King Jamie is untouchable. He is the untouchable king of the rock. And there are no plots that we can do against him either. Nope, we can do nothing. Thank you. Has declared anathema upon your acquaintance lord, Jeremy of the Banefort. Um, who is your strongest vassal? Again, it is, uh, it is the Reigns. Um, yeah, they're, they're not gonna join us. Can we get any non-aggression packs? Nope, we can get nothing. We can get nothing. I wonder if we could potentially marry Gareth to a Reign. Are there any Reigns that'd be willing to marry us? Well, there was, a, well, I mean, we're kind of late to the party in that regard. I mean, Gareth, Gareth is six years old, though. Well, he's eight now. And there are, are there are no Reigns he could potentially marry. Ooh, that really sucks. Gareth, I'm gonna force you to train. Force you to train. All right, he has not improved his he has not improved his swordsmanship, but he has become brave. Excellent. And I will take him as a squire. It's always good to be brave. All right, I, okay, that's fine. Whatever. There's no man better at increasing the face of the opinion of me. I need you to talk to the church. Yeah, that's fine. Damn, all of our ambitious plans have come crashing down because of bugs. I hate this. I hate it. But, I mean, oh well. Just, it means just next time that we do more plotting and scheming, we have to be better at it. Now, do we have a lifestyle choice? We do. We have, we've got strategist. I wonder if we can become... I wonder if we can become good at intrigue. We can't become better, or maybe we just want to... We just want to become a seducer, just seduce everything that moves. We might be able to get away with that. Is Jamie married to anybody? Bara. Bara Adderdal. Hmm. Maester Garin, you son of a bitch. I don't know. My pri my prisoner, Sile Telly, is complaining about her dark cell. Um, keep, let's keep her there. Let's keep her there. I have strong... I have found... Okay, you found a promising candidate. Let's ask him politely. Now that the war has ended, I wish to formally offer you a place on my council in the position that you previously occupied. Huh. How, how gracious of him. Gracious? How gracious we are. All right, we will become Hand of the King again. Until the next time. Until next time, and they've, ah, excellent. Okay, so now Lord Ossifer is being a bastard. Okay, but we are Hand of the King once again. Request council support. I accept. And in accepting, I'll get a favor from you, and I'll have you join my faction once again. We actually have, we actually have enough men where we have more soldiers than the king. That is a very opportune turn of events. Look at this minus, ne negative, minus 92 opinion of our liege. Minus 92. Title claimant, ambitious, ambitious again, twice. Opinion of predecessor, your friend Septon Merton has died. Just a small, just a small funeral will do. Ladies and gentlemen, Despite all of the odds, and despite all of the bad luck, and despite all of the bugs, we now stand with House Rain in trying to take over the rock. See, 15,000. They have 9,000. We have 5,000. We have technically more than he does. The, the king. The question is, is... Do we dare launch this attack? Do we attack now, or do we wait till later? Because he's still technically... He's still technically... Under a regency. And he doesn't have a, a loyalist faction or anything like that. What I might do is I might end the episode here. And then next episode, we're just going to ball out and rebel and try to take the Iron... Or not the Iron Throne, my god. Try to take the Kingdom of the Rock... But it's going to be a hard-fought battle, and it's going to require... It's going to require a lot of <laughs> King Jamie's vassals to not fight for him. But a lot of these vassals have really poor opinions of him. Well, Kraykal is definitely going to fight on his behalf. Unless we can plot to rescue him, which I don't see how we can. So Kraykal will definitely fight for the king. Or he might, he might stay neutral. I mean, if all the vassals stay neutral, then we might be able to overtake King Jamie and install Lord Joseph as the new king, 
King of the Rock. But that, ladies and gentlemen, will have to be in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, be sure to share the video. That helps me out a ton. I have been the Golden Joe Oblivion. This has been Lord Joseph the Tenacious of the Golden Tooth and future King of the Rock. And until next time, I will see you all later.